Hey, what's going on, guys? It is TNS Anathema, aka Anathema the Minecraftian, and today will be actually my first and probably only Minecraft video, and uh, that's because I wanted to show everybody my epic Minecraft world that I worked very hard on, spent many hours on, and um, yeah. So we're gonna start with the bedroom here. So furnace, you know, crafting table, whatever. But you may notice I have all these bookshelves, and that was from the bookshelf glitch. Uh, where if you destroyed one bookshelf, you'd get three bookshelves in uh, the update 0.0.0.3.0. 0 .0. So, uh, now in this one, they've made it so you can't do that, which kind of sucks, but yeah. So now we'll just move on to this little room. No idea what this is going to be yet, just kind of working on it. Um, this is going to be my storeroom right here. So all these are where chests are going to be and stuff, and I have to kind of clean out this room. I'm probably going to put uh, wood in there for most of it. Uh, this is the kitchen slash storeroom area and that's because you can actually put wood inside the furnaces. So that's what I do to keep my wood safe. So you just put the wood in there and BAM it's all good. So then put some coal in here. And so yeah if you ever die with wood on you you can always come back and get more. So I have all diamond tools uh, cause I am um, found a lot of diamonds. Uh, this is the mine. These are just extra torches I have just in case I need to grab a couple. Uh, so yeah, that's the mine. Um, and this is the epic not-so-secret room. Good grief, it took forever to destroy that. Oh, that's because I had a spade. Oh, I'm an idiot. So yeah, this is the really cool room. So tons and tons and tons of diamonds. Uh, so just really quick, for all two of you who don't know how to do the diamond glitch, I will show you how. Are you serious? There we go. In my opinion, gold tools are better, but they also run out quicker, so yeah, there's that. Alright, so you take a diamond block. You have to have at least six diamonds. You need to collect at least six diamonds on your own in order for this glitch to work. So you, So it only takes six blocks, see? It says only six up there. Wait a minute. I hope the camera picks it up. It says zero out of six because I have no regular diamonds. But, here, I'm just going to move it back. If I put it in here, look at that. I just got nine diamonds. That's three more than I would have had normally. So let's do that again. So then we turn these into a block. And do this, so on and so forth. And look at that. I got two blocks where I only took out one. So that's basically the diamond glitch. You do need to find six diamonds on your own, which kind of sucks, but, you know, you can't have everything for free. Alright, so pop out here. Up, oh, up. Oh. There you go. And uh, we'll move on. So, um, also for all two of you who don't know how to throw items, just hold down, just hold Hold down on the item, there's a little green bar that will show up. Here, let me see if I can pick it up. See that little green bar? And then you just pitch it. So, this is my tree farm. The saplings have been, like, disappearing, but, yeah, this is my tree farm. Um, so, yeah, we'll just move on over to here. So, before I knew that you could get rid of blocks, I made my... I cut that house completely into the side of a mountain. Oh, this is the ASDF seed, by the way. So that's why there's Gears Floating Island up there. Alright, so uh, I had tons and tons of cobblestone from doing that, so I made all these little huts. So yeah, there's that. Um, yep, three of them. And then we will run up here and look at this other house. Uh, so a friend of mine comes on here, actually, and plays sometimes on this account. So I was building a house for them. So this is a house really rough, but I'll be working on it. I'm not sure if I like this gravel stone pattern here, but yeah. Mine. Mine. And this room, which is the kind of storeroom for here. I don't know what, what, what is this block doing here. Go away, young block. So yeah. Alright, close that door, and then we'll go up. So, um, I've spent lots of time on this Minecraft world, and I'm pretty happy with it. I really like the floor things you can do with stairs. See, these are just stairs, and it creates, like, this really interesting floor pattern. So this is just, um, 
balcony and then if you cut away these two blocks you got a secret room all right let's run back up here this is just like a greenhouse room little seat and some books and and stoof all right and we'll run over to look at uh, something else I did really quickly. And then that'll be about it. Actually, like, two or two or three things, I think. Alright, so I'm going to clean up the front of this house to make it look really nice because it has a lot of dirt and it looks pretty messy as it is. So this is my little uh, boathouse area. Right here. So I think this really looks nice. I like it. And, uh, yeah. All the animals are floating. So, this is also before I knew you could discard blocks. So, I put all these here. And so, I'm going to have to go through and rip all of these blocks up and put sand down. Which is going to take forever, but whatever. It'll be a nice nice thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was the, the little castle I built up here, too. Alright, so we hop on the ladder. Alright, cool. So, this is, um... I don't know what this is. I just want. Oh, this is my attempt at a castle. So yeah, again, this interesting floor plan. Plant lots of bookshelves and um, yeah. Jump up here. Jump down here. And okay, ready? Oh crap! I'm gonna die. Oh no! I lost all my diamond stuff. No no no! This sucks. This sucks. Um oh, crap. I really hope I can get there in time. No, 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 no. I need to get all my diamond stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be through. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I really need... That was stupid. I was trying to, like, jump in the water being a derp. Come on, let's go. Wait. Oh, no. I think I lost it. Oh no, there it is. Yes. Win. Haha. <laughs> Epic win. Alright, so um over here, you have an, uh, this took me like two hours to do. So I kept pushing one of those sheep. And uh so I, I did this with like eight or nine different sheep and it took me so long, but I finally did it. I got one sheep into this little pen. And uh so now he's uh my sheep and um yeah, I can get wool whenever I want. And I don't have to go running around. So the reason I put him in a pen like this is so that the water wouldn't carry him out to sea so he couldn't eat grass and grow wool again. So, yeah, and I can get wool whenever the heck I want, which is pretty awesome. So let's do this. Like so. No, get away. See, look, he was about to jump up. Little Houdini. Um, so yeah, that's about it for, uh, my epic Minecraft world, um, which I have been working on steadily for about four months now, I think, uh, since I got Minecraft, uh, which I got on the update 0.3.0, because I really wanted tools, and, um, they didn't have them for PE. Uh, I do not play the PC version, I don't really play any other video games except for those on my iPod, and, um, yeah, yeah, so... Uh, this was kind of a long video, but it was supposed to be because I got a lot of stuff to show. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this, and maybe you can use some of these ideas like the floor plan, uh, in your own Minecraft worlds. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and, um, yeah, hopefully if they ever make a multiplayer, I'll be able to come online and see all of you guys, and we could build, uh, build something epic. So anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.